Oh, what a wild ride. This is a great picture from Jason Joyce this morning from the 54th floor of the Republic Plaza building. It looks almost like New York out there with the kind of the fog and the smog. It's a beautiful picture, but it is uh, not great to have all of that smog with us. Thankfully, our air pattern did shift a lot of that out for us today, but we do still have unhealthy for everyone air quality, poor visibility, and indoor burning is still restricted. It should get a little bit better, but we'd still expect there to be some haze for the next several days. It was very windy in southern Colorado today. We're going to see that wind really ramp up uh, Friday into Saturday for many areas as our next system comes on through. We'll start by zooming on in here to the Denver area. There are some light scattered rain showers around. Still have some snow into parts of the foothills and into the high country. Still have quite a bit of snow. You can, it's snowing pretty hard still in the Telluride area. And we have seen a lot of snow in the last 24 hours. Almost two feet of snow for the Aspen Highlands. Copper Mountain, 18 inches. Loveland and Breckenridge with 16. That goes for Keystone, too. And we're going to continue to see some overnight tonight. And then we'll continue to see more through the weekend. Our snowpack updated today. We're at 127% statewide. Really seeing great improvement down in the southwestern corner of the state. Still above 100% in northern Colorado, too. But this area got hit really hard with the last couple of storm systems. And our drought monitor was updated today. Something really great to see is that we only have just tiny little areas of extreme drought still in place. But you'll notice that the southwestern corner, they had exceptional uh, drought throughout most of the season. Now we're at uh, moderate to severe, which is still not great, but it is so much better than where it has been thanks to all of that recent snowfall. We still have avalanche warnings in place all the way from the northwest down to the southwest through Friday. Obviously, with the last several days, we know how bad those avalanches can be. So please be extra careful. And like everyone keeps saying, no backcountry skiing and just take it easy out there. There's uh, just the danger is so extremely high right now. Future cast for tonight, we're going to continue to see some snow out there in the high country. By tomorrow morning, gets a little bit more widespread. Like Chris just said, there are several storms out there and we're just seeing them funnel our direction. Front range eastern plains were dry and sunny tomorrow, but we could see some late afternoon rain showers that roll on through. Some heavier snowfall out in the eastern plains by tomorrow night and we'll still see some heavy snowfall Friday night through Saturday, maybe even sun, uh, Saturday night in the high country. We do have winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories still in place through 6 o'clock tonight. You'll see these reissue though for the next storm system uh, late night tonight. 44 degrees out of DIA right now, 33 in Burlington, 60 in Trinidad, 27 in Frisco and 37 from our weather watcher Mike in Avon for us and 55 degrees here downtown. 51 officially out of DIA today, 57 downtown. So that puts us just at our average for this time of year. Nice to be close to where we should be. 25 in Denver tonight, 20 in Greeley. Low 20s, teens out east, teens 20s in our mountains. And tomorrow we're looking at temperatures still in the 50s, 60s in southeastern Colorado, 30s, 40s in the mountains. So another warm day for us before we start to cool down again by Saturday. It will be a bit windy out there and then uh, fairly mild into early next week before maybe we get in on the action by Tuesday. You guys have